Well, it applies to you fulfilling your destiny in a heavenly way, because there's a heavenly aspect of that, there's a spiritual aspect of that, in which we do the on earth as it is in heaven bit. So we have to do the as it is in heaven bit, and we are seated in heavenly places, and we're op operating in the realms of heaven in sonship, so that that can manifest on earth. Or if we've got a wider sphere of government that encompasses global things or national things or regional things, we'll be doing things that relate to ju not just me, but other things and other spheres of influence in government. And all those things are, are valuable and important and they need to be outworked and, and they're an outworking of who I am. But I'm doing them all the time in multiple ways in multiple places so having learned to do it all linearly and going into all the courts and going into the four faces of god and going into the throne room and going you know into the chancellor's chamber and going into beyond beyond and going to the throne of grace and all those you know, places that i learned to do because i was led by god he showed me about it learning to be face to face in the light of his presence in it, operating in the eternal now all of that and i learned to do it all and then he taught me about non-linearity about not being bounded by time and space and then being multi-dimensional in the my spirit can be in multiple places doing multiple things simultaneously at the same time and as a, as he showed me he took me to like specific places which were starting points for the things that I would do, which were sort of connected. So there were some governmental things that are connected, like legislation, producing laws, administrating laws, governing, you know, within the chancellor's sphere and all of that. And I'm doing that all the time. How much of it am I aware of? I don't know, 5%, 2%, maybe, I don't know. Sometimes maybe less than that, because I don't need to be. Because I'm outworking it out of what I have learned and who I am. And people may benefit from what I'm doing and what other people are doing, but they don't need to know I'm doing it. And I don't need to tell anybody I'm doing it. And most of the time, I don't even have to cognitively know that I'm doing it. But I am connected to it because my spirit and soul are constantly entangled with lots of filaments that are connected to all of these things. So I am a mycelial network of connection, if you like. Within me, within the Merkaba, within the core of my being, there are portals that are connected to everywhere that I am. So instantly I am, I am connected. There is no separation, there is no distance. The cognitive knowledge can be made available instantly should I need to be aware of anything or if I choose to go and just hang out or see or look or if I feel led to go and engage something I would and then I become aware of it but none of that puts any sense of you got to do this you got to do that I just have to be but I've dwelt in the realms of heaven since 2012 I've never come back out of that realm in the spirit I join where my spirit functions sometimes, uh, but most of the time now I'm just being. And because I'm connected to the father's heart and I never leave his heart and I never leave that place of light and perfection and where I find his intentions and his desires. And I'm in the chamber of was it the chamber of life or the cradle of life. I'm in that place where I'm brooding all the time. So I become a voice, his voice that speaks, light responds to me as his voice in sonship. I'm there all the time. You know, I'm, I'm in the chamber of life in creation all the time. Therefore, I'm be, me being me is effectively connected with other people being them so that things are changing. I can't change the universe on my own. But me being me and me being me doing my bit within that sphere joins with what everyone else is doing. Am I aware of what they're doing? No, most of the time. Am I aware sometimes when we have a conversation and they start sharing what they're doing and it's like, I totally resonate with it. It's like, yeah, we're, we're connected in this. Sometimes when I talk to Justin or Lindy or Nancy and we're chatting or whatever, 
it's like i think yeah i resonate with that it's like I, I, i'm participating in that too you know probably not as cognitive you are because i don't need to be you know because that's not where i am right now but i know i resonate with it so for me that that's how it works so i enjoy life and enjoy the time and space i have to be me within this time frame and within this sphere so that you know i enjoy you know nature and life much more 